Morning. Rough. Well, I wasn't going to do this, but let's have a let's have a day or 24 hours in the village just to give you an idea of what goes on in a traditional Thai village. So, first thing. If you're in a Thai village, the first thing you'll eat is bloody chickens or whatever howling at about half five in the morning. Uh, they wake you up, so once you're awake, get up. This is obviously me, uh, the wife's place here. A bit of land there. We bought that land. That's where our house is going to go. So that's, that white post is the boundary for this part of the land. So it's been split up in half. So anyway, but that there, it's quite, it's quite long. But yeah, that's. Uh, the land for where we're going to build house. Um, let's see what everyone's doing. Daughter's still asleep in bed. Wife getting ready to do some hair. Hey, morning. Hey. Got the car cleaned yesterday. Took it to uh, took it to a place where they clean the carpets, polished the inside of it, uh, washed the car, and waxed the car. And it cost six quid. With four people on it. It's looking mint. Hey, hey. I'm quite happy with that. Six quid to clean the old car. Flies on it already. We went to Buriram last night. Anyway, right. Sun's out. Gonna be a cracker of a day. Everyone's everyone's heading to school and things like that. I'll catch up with you a bit later on. Coffee. kitchen where she makes all the food for everyone. Drinks, pizzas. We need a cup of tea. Today, so we'll take a lot of brew, take the daughter to school, uh, and then we might have a wander around the village, see what's happening, which won't be much. <sighs> okay. Yeah, lads, quietly having a brew. <laughs> it's 
things like that. It's just, you're just not going to see anywhere else, are you? Half seven now, better make a move. You got me brew, Yorkshire tea. Right, so what's the day of what generally happens? There you get the daughter showered, breakfast, take her to school. Uh, I would normally, and she'll be doing air all day in the salon. One of her workers will be doing all the food. Um, I go at the gym. Go at the gym normally after taking Emily to school. Uh, and then just generally potter around. Um, there ain't a lot to do here. Um, I will go for a walk later though, I'll show you around. Show you what there is, but more importantly what there isn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, shower time. Okay, let's go to school. Okay. Okay, can, can you can you be my camera lady? Can you hold for me while looking outside? Okay, Emily gonna be camera, say good morning. Good morning. Okay, you can be camera lady today. Okay, you hold with two hands. Okay, let's go to the shop and get you some milk. Okay. Yeah. Steady. You hold good? Good. Okay, good girl. Very good. Right. Okay, we go to the shop. Where so where gung shop? Can you show where the gung shop is? Over there? Camera now, you can go. Hang on, I'll give you some money, Em. Okay, how much? How much do you want? Thirty baht. Okay, let's have a look. Twenty. Okay, there you go. Can you go. Okay. Oh, it's, it's okay. Can spend. Can. Ah. Careful. <laughs> right, there's a few different, uh, there's a few different like little shops within the village, but this is the main one that most people would come to. Pretty much sells everything bar, like hot food, beers, snacks, soft drinks, and the toiletries in the other shed it's got everything it's probably open from I don't know five till nine five in the morning till nine at night so uh, now once again this might be a bit this might be a bit long-winded so uh, I'll show you our drive to school if Emily's able to hold the camera okay I'm sure she will um, so, uh, yeah, what else is there in the village while I'm here? Uh, 
Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Uh, I will have a walk around when I get back from school, so I will show you it a bit more. Maybe a bit of a boring video, but it's just uh, some of you might be interested and some of you might not. I don't know. It's understand if if not, but there you go. So, uh, oh, pull, pull. You just gotta, you just gotta pull hard, okay? Okay, what did you buy? You buy chocolate milk and sour twist lays. Okay, can you put your seatbelt on so while you go to school? Okay. Hey, you're gonna have them. You're gonna have your milk now, no? Save for later. Okay, I'll put on the sit back. I can do, Baba. Okay, you can do. Okay, now can you can you hold the camera for me while we go to school? Oh. <laughs> okay. Can you put that over there. Put that over there. Okay. Now you point out the. Ah. <laughs> can you point out the window for me? Lift up a little bit higher so people can see. Okay. You've got to watch everywhere you go here, especially, especially the motorbikes that will bloody come out of nowhere. And with you being the uh, foreign guy, whose ever fault it is, it'll be your fault. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> you being good camera lady? Emily, I don't really think many people can see. Let me hold it for a little bit. I'll hold it for a little bit, okay? Right, so this is this is the village. That's the uh, that's the local school where Emily used to go. Uh, Bangkok Pet School. We'll, we'll have a walk down there later. Um, Emily goes to. Emily goes to. Emily, what your school called? Ah? Huh? Have anyone picked that up? It's a. Uh, it's let's say a better school. It's got to pay for it. Um, but the education's better than the, uh, the English. You you learn English, Em? Mm. Yeah. You like your school? Mm. You have many friends? Yay. So probably five minutes. You have what? Oh, okay. You'll see everyone riding motorbikes here, or most people without a helmet. <laughs> it is how it is. Not surprising that he actually has one on. You'll see kids of 12, 13, less sometimes 10 driving motorbikes she was flying no helmet um, you just how it is here some people wear them some people don't the police don't say anything You can hold for me. You hold, 
hold up high, okay? That's it, yeah, good. Hopefully the camera's not shaky. You okay, Em? Yeah. Good, excellent. You can be my cam camera lady, okay? Okay. okay. Emily, you know what this what this calls in here, the village? What they call? I don't know what they call this place. This is another village, and every village has a school. Every village, whether there's hundred kids or two hundred. A thousand kids going. Gotta watch out for all the dogs. You'll notice there's dogs everywhere here. Okay, you what? You're looking out straight. Keep it straight, okay? Selling food on the side of the road, sausage, or Thai dishes for the morning, rice soup. Emily's school. Another school there. Another local school. That's a bit nicer actually. That is Bangkok Clan. Where? Oh. What's this? Prakon Prakon Rural Sub Office. That's obviously like where the uh, all like the road works drainage and roads right for me waffling on we'll uh, get to the school right couldn't film there it's absolute there must be a big festival going on that's well as you can see all the floats and all that but uh, this place here with the flags on the top that's that's my daughter's school We'll uh, hopefully get the wife to uh, drive this afternoon to pick her up and show you a bit more. But yeah, you'll get you'll get a lot of ties and a lot of uh, obviously foreign kids. Go, well, not foreign kids, but you know what I mean. Thai, English, Thai, American, Thai, Japanese kids going to that school because just because of the English program. Um, I think it's worth it. Um, it's not a massive amount of money per term, but it's a lot more than you'd pay in the UK or Australia or so uh, and I think I think my daughter's English is pretty good considering I'm not here all the time so uh, but anyway I'll get back home get some breakfast and then we'll uh, do a bit of a walk around Oof, Jesus roads here are a state you gotta watch your car are you but uh, anyway, next up the walk. All right, here we go. Let's go for a wander. This won't take very long, but uh, show you what there isn't instead of what there is. Plenty of trucks carrying soil. This is the time of year, it's not the wet season, so a lot of the uh, a lot of the trucks that are carrying soil are going to obviously lay lay down a, a base for houses to be built. 
chickens. The better in mind, it's 10 o'clock Thursday morning. That's a nice house. I do believe that's a doctor's house. It's generally, generally, uh, the bows aren't the greatest. The uh, temples down that way. We'll take a walk down that way shortly. So, Bangkok Pet is the name of the village. Uh, it's the nearest bigger town. It's called Prakon Chai, which is where my daughter goes to school. It's obviously about five kilometres that way. Yeah, let's walk down here. Uh, so yeah, um, five kilometres that way towards town. That's generally where you can find the, uh, you know, the western kind of. I mean, you won't really find western stuff in that city, but there is a, there is kind of like a. foreign kind of pub where you can get all semi-decent food part of that you're struggling there's coffee shops and all that but there's nowhere uh, let's just say you won't find any starbucks or mcdonald's or anything like that anywhere near this uh, village uh, i haven't got a clue what this is this was uh, this was dry last time it came, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's been flooded for a reason, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'll be honest, it's not for everyone. It wouldn't be for many people at all actually living here. If you want a quiet life, spot on. Uh, Thai food everywhere. You, you're probably paying in this village for a bowl of well, what do they call it? Noodle, beautiful noodle soup or what? Uh, pad ka pao, which is like a minced a minced pork with spices and rice, which is spot on. You'd be paying. Pound, pound ten, pound twenty. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, there's no Western food. That's the uh, that's the uh, place we stopped this morning to get Emily's milk and her snack. That's pretty much where everyone goes for all. All amenities, unless you want to actually drive into the city. I'll try and speed it along so it's not a half an hour video. Uh, right, so Bangkok Pet is about uh, Four hour drive from Bangkok, north, northeast. Uh, it's about a 45 minute drive to Buriram. Uh, probably from here it's, it's 10, 12 hours to Chiang Mai, which is right at the north of Thailand. And from here to say Pattaya, five, five and a half hours which is where we're heading tomorrow. So, uh, it's pretty much in the middle. Uh, a lot of, lot of temp, like uh, old, old, old temples and ruins around this place. Didn't get time to go there this time, but we shall do that next trip. So yeah, the houses are pretty, 
Some are pretty basic, I mean, look at that one. That blue building there is where you're supposed to get the clean water from, but I wouldn't go in there. Everyone just drinks uh, bottled water. I certainly wouldn't uh, drink the water here out of the tap. No problem washing your teeth with it. But I'm accustomed to it now, so. Uh, Definitely don't drink the water. Lots of stray dogs, so you just got to be careful. Hello. Sweaty cap. Okay. <laughs> Sweaty cap. Hello. <laughs> no. Thank you. Oh, the old. Uh, you do get a little bit uh, frightened by all the stray dogs. Well, not stray dogs, but uh, wandering dogs. You never know what they're going to do. Touch wood. I've never been bit yet, but. Right, this is the school. This is the village school. Probably, I wouldn't like so many kids. Probably 100 kids here. This is the school Emily used to go to. But like I said, we decided to change from this one, which is so much easier for the missus, considering she's busy all the time. It's a bit of a hassle having to drive every morning pick her up in the afternoon but we just thought the education's better than that other one and it de most definitely is. So anyway, that's a nice house. It's probably the nicest one in the village. School zone, you're supposed to slow down. Does anyone slow down? No. I'm surprised there's not more accidents to be honest. So there you go, Bangkok Pet School. There's a football pitch in every single school here. The uh, pitch leads, leads a lot to be desired and actually normally after school's finishes you'll see cows grazing on it. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's uh, that's the high street. Um, there's a bit going that way, a bit going that way. Overall, not much. So uh, we'll head back to the temple. Show you that because that is uh, that is worth seeing. It is spectacular. So uh, catch it over there. People selling pork balls and pork balls and stuff to eat and that there in an, af in an afternoon sells pork and what do you come? Okay. So what do you come? So friendly. For a love about Thai people, absolutely amazing. So uh, let's stop for a drink. Here, you can also get your you can also get your petrol here in a in a coke bottle for twenty baht. I think or is it thirty five baht? Let's get a, let's, let's buy a drink. Okay, sweaty cup. What shall we buy? Uh, a 
swap some now if we can. Or should we do a beer? Let's do a beer. Seeing as though it's uh, seeing as though it's half ten in the morning. Let's have a cold Leo. So yeah, they sell everything, snacks, everything. Thank you. Open cup. Thank you. Pop and cap. See you later. Uh, where should we go? Lovely kind of cold Chang, uh, no, Leo in fact. Oh, alloy. So that's the high street. Not much to see. It's just the tie way of life. Quiet. At the end of the day, it's uh, the same anywhere, isn't it? It's just people going about their business. Uh, could I live here? Could I? Yeah, probably could. Probably could. As long as I can get to, you know, get get away to Pattaya and Bangkok every now and again. So. Uh, Right, this is this is on the way down to the to the to the temple. That's all the dogs are probably wanting to eat, eat me alive. Probably never seen a foreigner, or at least not very often. There's a mix of old and new houses here. Um, it's a nice new house. Up there, up there probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't cost more than 15, 20,000 to build. It's a nice house with a nice wooden house on the front of it. Right, so I know this isn't your average video. Um, just trying a bit, something a bit different. Right, this is the uh, this is the temple. Peace and solemn in here. The monks, some monks do live here, so uh, I've got to be respectful. I don't even know if I'm allowed to drink this beer in here. Probably not, so I shall leave it at the gate. Get that on the way back. The, uh, the colours, the colours on these temples in Thailand are absolutely spectacular. So 
Check that out. Check that out. Quite spectacular. Body cup. Can I go? Can I go in there? Okay. No, okay, it's locked, lock. Okay, no problem. Okay. Ooh. What? what the monks are saying, who's that? Who's that idiot? Stunning. Cop and cap, thank you. No, a car, car. No, uh, um, over there. I live with my wife. Car. Okay, thank you. Cop and cap. Oh, okay, yep. Three. Well, that was unexpected. Didn't have a clue what they were saying. But uh, that's just, it's amazing. And that's. You get that in every single village, temples like that. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. That's the, uh, that's the belt. So that's, uh, that's the village, that's what happens. Um, right, we'll catch it a bit later on. Right, 2.30. Go pick the, pick the daughter up as well as buy a few things. Need some, what do we need? Need some, got the plant pots and the plants, we need the sauces. Mrs. buys the plants and the plant pots and forgets the sauces. So when you put the water in, it just drips out. Thai logic. Anyway, it's cooking here. Wife can drive today. Oof. Ah. All the way back in. Okay, the air con fire on. Oh my god, my back. Very hot. <sighs> Just start the engine now. I cannot touch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 she can't even touch the pedals. 
<laughs> All right, let's go. Don't bully your wife. <laughs> Don't you bully your wife. All right, we are, we're at the plant shop. This is crack on chai. Looks a bit sparse. That's what we're looking for, a bit of compost and some sauces, eh? Pick the daughter. Right, how many bags is there? Six bags. Six bags of compost, three plants, three shrubs, and some sauces. Five quid. Five quid. Ridiculous. Okay, let's go and get the door. How much? 260? Yes. Cop and cap. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Pa. Bargain, 260 for all that. Uh, why not? Ah, cheap. Nice, onto the skill. Nice, a U turn. And out of every, they always block off the road with the traffic cones, with it being on a, a busy main road. What's, this, what's the skill called, Jane? Someone too pretty than you. Right. I can't say that's it. <laughs> nice. It's in there. Can I hold that? I'll go get her. Yes. <laughs> do Alright, school drop off, done. You wanna get on camera, say say hello to everyone. Finish school? Finish. You have a good day at school? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. What are we gonna do now? Go buy his shoe. Go Lotus. What for? Okay, we're gonna go to the shop then. Oh, yay! That's the school. What do you think of the school, Jane? School. 
onwards. All right, we're in Prakan Chai. Like I said this morning, there's a big festival going on, so all the roads are blocked off within the city. Just bought myself a Buriram vest top. To knock that six pack out in. <laughs> six pack coming. <laughs> Fans and rice and rabbit food, vegetable seeds. Nice cakes. Where are you going now? So one way. That's one way you cannot go that way, We'll just wait here until she gets what she wants. I'll just say this now as well, if you haven't, if you haven't noticed, every single Thai person is still wearing a mask. Why? Yeah. Okay. All right. See you later. Love him. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, wife. Hang on. Okay. We'll uh, see you back at home. Say okay, bye bye. All right. Back from school. Back from the shops. Times it five. Thank you. Spot on. Probably get a copyright strike for that music, but what we're cooking? What's left in there? Not much. Not much? People buy. Is that rice noodle? No. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> no idea what that is. A lawyer. Check out everything. Look. What wife do we? Uh, checking out everything. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the beer. Right. Say then, which village life? It's not for everyone. Uh, 
only the select few can hack it. I couldn't do I couldn't do a month in one hit or I can get away with two, three weeks at the most and then I've got to go back down Bangkok Patea. So on that note, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, hopefully it kind of dis depicted a village life. Probably didn't but anyway on that see you on the next one